I'm here with Nate Yotoku of the organization called KUPU. That's a really interesting acronym. <laughs> what does it stand for? Thanks for having us. KUPU uh, in Hawaii means to grow, to sprout. And at our organization, we work on youth engagement with um, young adults 17 to 26, giving them opportunities to, to grow and to, to learn while doing some work. And you're the director of sustainability. Correct, yes. What does that mean? That's a tough question. <laughs> um, for me, personally, sustainability means taking care of our, our planet, our island, and all of our resources. It's a, it's a wide view, but it's a, it's a holistic view of, of just being able to take care of the aina. Now, that's the technical term, and theoretically and spiritually, we understand that. Uh, the term has been misused or reused in different ways, mm -hmm. but I think you're, you're working with young people to clarify what it really means. Absolutely. So what we do best is we give them hands-on learning opportunities through doing work. So we actually try to partner them with um, job opportunities where they, can, where they can spend time and learn by actually doing field work or working in an industry. And I think through that, the youth have the opportunity to kind of form their idea of what sustainability is and how they can personally impact our, our state's efforts. So when you speak about youth, what ages are we talking about? And it sounds like they're doing more than just volunteering. Correct. Um, we, we have about 300 members every year. Uh, we've been doing this for about 10 years, so roughly 3,000 members through Kupu. And, and they're typically ages 17 to 26. And they're, um, we partner with different community companies and organizations, state, local, federal government, and we put them in opportunities to actually get paid while they learn. The connection to get the students to be, I guess, the young people to be members, that's an interesting concept, to belong to something. Yes, and, and we feel it is a, a membership. It's, it's like we're building a community of like-minded young people that, that want to take care of the, the aina and to, to grow and to learn. And, and we recruit from various places like high schools, colleges, uh, word of mouth, social media. Your website. Correct. They, our can, website. Ap they can yes. apply yeah, to apply to our website, yes. Uh, what's a project that's going on right now that you're particularly, um, I guess, enthusiastic about? Oh, well, one new project that we're launching in 2018 is called the Pacific Resiliency Fellowship. And it's a project that's come from uh, IUCN and the World Conservation Congress in 2016. And what we're looking to do is engage about 10 to 12 early professional, early career professionals in conservation and sustainability from Palau, America Samoa, Hawaii, Guam, and Rapa Nui. And so they'd be coming to Hawaii to work? Yes, so we're gonna bring them all to Hawaii and give them some tools and some resources so that they can become better leaders for their own communities when they return. Now, I know that's serious work that you're doing, but it also sounds like it's really a lot of fun. Absolutely fun. <laughs> um, there's nothing like getting in touch with the aina, like getting your hands dirty, and that's a big part of what we do. We believe that our, our members and even our staff need to get out there and, and get in the lo'i and get dirty or, or go out and clear a trail or plant some trees, so we do all of that. Yes. I love to see photographs that you, know, that you, that you folks post with people smiling, yes, and they're not posed. You no. know, it's like there's lots of laughter and joy. Yeah, and if you follow like our social accounts on Instagram and on Facebook, you'll see a lot of our our pictures from our participants. We we try to post a lot of their pictures, and they're having a great time. And and they're the best part is they're actually doing work. There's an impact for the community while they're learning at the same time. And the learning, it seems to me, from what you just said, to prepares them for a career. Yes. So what we do, a lot of our jobs are entryways and pathways into career employment. Some of the youth that participate with us, they, don't, they love nature. They love to be either in the ocean or in the, in the forest, but they're not able to see a, a career pathway from that. And mm -hmm. what we do is we show them opportunities and, and show them that there are ways that they can be in nature and still get paid to do it. Wouldn't that be unique if we could really have young people going into careers that they loved? Yes, absolutely. And get paid? Yes. Uh, one quick parting thought. Uh, one thing that we love to do, again, we, we love to learn, learn by doing. So we encourage everyone. And for us, we feel like we, we, we're able to help the whole state and the whole community by, by getting our youth involved. And hopefully, as they get older, they become the stewards for them. So I know. Well, I wish this program was around when I was that age. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. You've been listening to a conversation with Nate Gyotoku of Kupu.